Hey everyone and welcome to the channel. In this video I'll be replacing the oil pressure sensor in this LS1 VX Calais. If you've seen my previous videos on this car you may have noticed it has a check engine light. And recently I got a scan tool. So let's see what that check engine light's for. This car uses the OBD2 plug so let's plug it in and see what that code's for. And we'll make sure the car's running. So let's read our error codes. So we have a mass airflow sensor circuit low frequency I'm pretty sure that's just because of the mathless tune. The one we're concerned about is the oil pressure sensor high voltage. Now just to be safe I can clear these codes. Now when we go back to read codes, it's come back straight away so we need to replace that oil pressure sensor. So what we want to do is open the bonnet. Now the oil pressure sensor is all the way at the back of the motor, right down there. And as you can see, that's a pretty difficult spot to get to. The best way to do it is coming in from the left side of the engine. On the right side, there's way too much stuff in the way. We can make this slightly easier for ourselves by removing this line here. It's towards the back of your rocker cover. Simply just pull it out. And you can just get it out of the way. Now it's a little bit easier, which is good. And now we want to take that plug off, simply by pulling on that little tab there. Now we can remove the sensor itself. Now, to undo that sensor, you'll need a 27 millimeter socket. Make sure it's a deep socket so it will fit over the sensor. Now, this next item isn't necessary, but I highly recommend it. And that is one of these quarter inch uni joints. This will make it much easier getting the socket behind there and trying to undo it. Don't worry if you don't have one of these joiners, you can actually get the socket in there without using it. But it's a very tight fit. So let's get into it. Also, if you don't have a scan tool to reset codes, what you can do while you're doing the job is unplug the battery and that'll reset the ECU for the next time you start the car up. That should clear any codes. So there's not really enough room for me to film this whilst I'm doing it. But as you can imagine, the socket just goes over the sensor, just like that, and then I can undo it. See with that little joiner I put on, it makes it so much easier to sort of move this around where I need to. And there's the sensor removed. Let's put in a new one. Now this is the replacement to go in. You may be wondering, it looks old. Well, that's because it is. Yes, this is a used sensor, but I know it works and I've kept it spare. So let's put it in. Now it really is just as simple as putting the replacement sensor back in the hole. Actually, I might clean out all of that stuff that's dropped in there. I don't like that. It would be good if this wasn't in such an awkward spot. All right, I'm gonna shove a rag in there and do my best to clean it up without spilling more stuff in there, of course. Now, whenever you have to clean in an awkward spot like that or really small, there's a trick you can use. All you need is a screwdriver and a rag. All you have to do is put the rag over the screwdriver and now you have a cleaner that can get into really awkward spots. So this time I'll try a smaller Phillips head screwdriver. So that's it before. And that's about as good as I can get it. So let's put that sensor in. Okay, I've just got it in there by the thread, so now I can use the socket to tighten it up all the way. Okay, so that's nice and tight. Hopefully I can get that socket off. There we go. And now I can simply reconnect that plug, making sure it's secured, which it is. And now we can reconnect the battery. So I've started the car and I haven't seen any check engine light yet. Ignore the airbag light. Now let's check the codes in the scanner. So we still have the oil pressure sensor high voltage, so let's delete that and see if it comes back. Yes, we want to erase that. And we'll go back to read codes. And just like that, the oil pressure sensor code is gone. And using the live data, we can see our oil pressure sensor is actually working. And when I rev it up, it should increase the oil pressure. Which it does, so we know we're in the good. That's exactly what we want to see. Just like that, we're done. Now this guide doesn't apply to just the VX Calais, 
but pretty much any car with an LS1 V8. Probably every other LS as well, but I've only ever worked on the LS1. So that's how you replace your oil pressure sensor in a VX Calais with an LS1. I hope you enjoyed the video and learned something new. Please consider liking and subscribing.